Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So today I'm filming a video from home. Um, I'm gonna to touch on something which I don't touch on that often, but I have mentioned a little bit in previous videos. Um, so something that I do get asked about, um, and a bit more recently um, than before, I think it's probably because of, you know, lockdown, people's losing their jobs, um, people are gonna be a bit, um, you know, not tighter, but um, a bit more cautious about how they spend their money and maybe won't be able to spend so much money on something, you know, like an electric folding wheelchair. So something they keep asking me is what makes your product so much diff more different from, you know, the cheaper ones which you see on eBay or, you know, some of the other ones. And I can simply tell you this, it's, it's simply a matter of quality and reliability. Um, obviously, it's like anything, cars or mountain bikes, you know, the, the, the more quality parts you use, the more expensive your end product and finished results going to be. So to put it in perspective, something like a Mobility Plus it retails, it's quite high on Amazon and eBay. Um, it's a proper entry level model. Um, it retails for about 870. So if you put into perspective, our parts alone, not even including the frame, come to weigh more than 870. So straight away, our parts are costing us more than what a whole chair costs for another retailer. Reason being, you know, they're all using... Um, they've got no controller units. They're all using brushless motor, uh, brush motors. Sorry, um, the frames are incredibly heavy. Um, they got you got pneumatic tires rather than nice, comfy, puncture-proof tires. Um, they're using batteries even on their website that they claim will last eighteen months to two years. You know, we're in our fourth year, and um, no one that's bought our chair from day one has come back and needed any any new batteries. And I've got customers that touch base with quite a lot from back in the early days, um, and their batteries are absolutely fine. So you've got batteries that last four years compared to two years. Um, I know that I'd rather spend the extra little bit um, and, you know, get a quality chair that's going to last me uh, much longer. Um, you know, another thing is we as a brand are completely honest. We're very reliable. Um, we are literally at your beck and call 24-7. If something was to go wrong, or forbid, we literally sort it out literally within a day. Um, there's no other country in the whole of the year, sorry, no other company, literally wheelchair company in the whole of the UK that can say they can do have that fast turnaround time. Um, I'm just going to go into something that I found quite interesting, actually, which I was browsing through eBay because obviously as a company like us, we're always trying to make our products better. So it's part of my job to look at what else is on the market, um, so what they're doing well, what they're not doing well, where we can improve. Um, so I'm always looking to have the best stuff on the market. I think that's why as a company we've grown so quickly. I mean, put it in perspective, we only have a, chair, a range of eight chairs. We started in year one with two to four. Um, and now we've got eight and we've gone from zero to a million in three and a half years. Um, so I don't think there's any other company that can say they're even close to sort of doing those sort of figures. So the amount we've grown is absolutely huge. And that's literally because I, I make sure I stay on top of the market. I know what the best products are. I know how to create the best products. Um, I know how to make a chair more stable. I know how to make reduce chairs weight. Um, I know where the best companies are to buy the best batteries, um, who the best dealers are, the shipping companies, etc. Um, so that that's that makes a big difference to the brand's success. So I'm just going to go into something I found very interesting, which is all on Amazon, eBay, um, and on the website. Sorry, on people's websites. It's amazing how much false information these companies are giving about their chairs. Um, and literally flat out lying to their customers. And that's something that you would never see with us. We literally have a spec sheet for every single one of our chairs online, um, which gives you exact information, very, very clear, um, very concise, and it's no BS. It's completely honest and factual. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff which I find amazing that they can even get away with. Okay, so here's a few, here's that Mobility Plus chair, which I was looking at earlier. So it's 879, fair enough, it's a great price. Um, but what it's stating is it says 24 kilograms lithium batteries. Okay, well, that sounds great. You know, our, our multiple terrain chairs like that, you know, 26 kilos. What it doesn't actually tell you is when you look into it, I think it's maybe on the features. So airline friendly lithium batteries, first of all, and then it says it's got one times 13 AH battery and one times 10, neither of which are plane safe on any short haul European flight. So straight away, they're saying you've got airline proof batteries, which are not airline proof batteries. Um, it also says that it's got two, two powerful 250 watt motors. Doesn't completely forgets to mention if they're brush or brushless. Fact is they are brush. Um, so it's just not giving you full information. You go down to specifications. There you go. There's the big one. A frame weight of 24 kilograms. 
That clearly makes you believe at the top that this chair weighs 24 kilograms. In fact, I've spoken to so many customers about this chair um, at home, I'm oh, sorry, when they've called into the office because um, they've bought it and not been happy with it. And the chair actually weighs 32 kilos. So we're talking a big difference of eight kilos. And that's the difference between someone being able to pick it up and put it in their boot um, or not being able to pick it up. Um, here's another wheelchair, which I found quite amusing on um, eBay. So there's so many of them claiming false specs. Um, this one saying, you know, it's it, it's it. then again, it's doing the two times 250 watt motors, not saying if they're brush or brushless, saying suitable for airlines in brackets underlined. And then when you look at what batteries they use, they've got two times 10 AH batteries, which I'm afraid are only useful on long haul flights. And some long haul flights don't even take 10 AH batteries. So if you bought that and you wanted to go to Spain on EasyJet, then you'd be a bit screwed, wouldn't you? Um, and I'm just amazed that these customer companies can get away with false advertising like this. Um, uh, and in, in regards to, um, and it, it's quite clear as well, with which chairs do well and which don't, because if you go onto eBay and just search different brands, for example, you can quite clearly see which ones, you know, aren't peak customers aren't happy with because there's loads for sale and secondhand market on eBay. If you type in lift tech, which I actually did for a, just interest earlier. So I typed in lift tech folding, lift tech folding electric wheelchairs. So we've got some of our ones that are actually on our, the website. And if you go all the way down, so there's all our actual chairs. See, so these aren't actually lift tech chairs, but the only one that we have is a second hand uh, chair, which a customer is obviously, let's click on it, obviously either not been happy with it for whatever reason, or they don't need the chair for whatever reason anymore. Um, I'm not sure if this will give, I don't know if they give a reason or anything, description. Uh, that doesn't actually say anything, unfortunately. Okay, so if you pay patch, we've got one chair for sale in the whole of UK. And we've sold, you know, into the thousands of chairs now to, to UK customers. Um, so that puts inspected. The reason why there's not any chairs on the secondhand market is because why would you put a chair that's quality, that gets you from A to B, that does the perfect job, everything that was described, you wouldn't sell a chair that was fit for purpose and that you're happy with, would you? Um, so that's one of the main reasons. It's just, I just find this, the whole mobility industry is just so corrupt and it, I find it so frustrating as one of the good eggs and, you know, trying to be a leader and a pioneer in the industry um, when other customers are just lying to their customers um, and they think they're getting a bargain of the lifetime when it turns out they're getting a pretty subpar product for a good price. And it's, it's quite hard when you go, you know, while chairs are around the 2000 mile and you're paying for quality and you've got other people selling their chairs for around a thousand um, and trying to make out that they have the same sort of components that yours does. Um, so, yeah, the market's getting tougher um, and there's a lot of companies out there now. And unfortunately, there's a massive difference between who's doing things the right way and, and who isn't. So, um, yeah, it's just a little video to put things into perspective and to give you a bit of a reason why. Uh, our chairs cost more and it's literally to do with quality, aftercare and the cost of the parts we actually use. You know, for example, our frame, our frames with all the chairs on, you know, they range from 17 kilo, sorry, and 19 kilos with the batteries all the way up to 26. And that's fully fitted, all the batteries, motors, everything on in the complete net weight of the chair. Um, you know, so we're honest with our specs um, and I just kind of wish that other companies would be because you know, it's uh, it makes a lot of com uh, customers pretty unhappy when they realise that they, you know, they can't lift the chairs or put them into the car when they thought they were going to be able to and they're under false pretenses, um, you know, and then a lot of these com customers have to then battle with these companies to even get some sort of a refund. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, enough about that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, take care and all the best.